Hey guys, we're from Red Moto. So today we're going to be doing a 2007-2013 driver's side and also passenger side fender removal. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. Turn on that push notification and hit that like button. Also, if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. Let's get started. All right, so if your car has a fender flare, you got to take that off first. If you don't have a fender flare, so don't worry about this. Skip this step then go straight to the uh, removal of the uh, fender. So I'll get a 10 millimeter. <laughs> Just feel around. I think that's it. So now the next ones are gonna be just screws. can't see it on here but there's a screw right there screw right here I got this wrap on here so kind of covered it So kind of tricks of the trade. I like to get a uh, Ziploc bag right here. Put your screws in there and label uh, label the uh, where you got those screws basically or those bolts. This one came from a fender. Be a lot easier to put it back in so you don't have to be digging for screws and figure out where they come from all right so i'm going to take off these little accessories that came with the fender flare and just come right off so we're going to go ahead and take off this uh, mud guard right here also a, a 10 millimeter on that side. Uh, usually it doesn't come off that easy because there's another, uh, like I, I believe there's a push pin down there that is missing. So don't forget about that also. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, Open up the trunk, I mean, not the trunk, the hood. Because we gotta take off that uh, headlight. All right, so take off this headlight. We got 10 millimeters right here. Over here also, a 10 millimeter. And right here also. Let's go ahead and get started on that. So on this side right here, you gotta have the extension to take it off. Excuse me. Be right there. I 
believe that's it. Let's try it out. So kind of push up on this one right here. So uh, this one has HID, so some of you guys would just have to uh, have a, a regular bulb like this one, taking it off right there. Take this off right here. Or you can just twist it. So for me, I like to put the screws back into place where I found it. Oops, wrong screws. Take off the fender liner. Get one of these tools or a flathead will do also. It's gonna be stuck on there pretty hard. So if you use a flathead, all you gotta do is uh, push down on these tabs right here and then kind of use your finger to push up and then go to the next one and push that down and pull up. So that kind of saved this one. All right, so as long as you get those uh, little plastic tabs off on the sides right here, then you should be good to go. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and take off the bottom piece too. There's another uh, little tab right there. So right here is going to be a 10 millimeter bolt. All right, so right there, there's going to be a bolt right in there. Open up the door. Looks like this cover right here. You guys see this plastic cover? If you guys pull that to the side, and you'll see another bolt right there. Maybe a 10. That's it for the 
And now if you guys take off this little corner piece right next to the windshield right here. You reveal a bolt right there. That's also a 10. Get that off. All right, so gotta take off this little weather stripping. So you can just pull it up and these tabs right here you just have to put it back into place so you just gotta put it in there. Now you got all these little, uh, these screws, or bolts. Bolt. 10 millimeter also. Right, almost there. So now there's another bolt right here. Let's go in here. So I think we just pull this to the side. So, so you can pull this a little bit forward, but then it still doesn't get to the bolts right there. So now we gotta take off these little push pins right here. Okay, get a uh, flathead. Let's see if we can take off that top pad. So to take off the top pad, we're gonna have to take this off also right here. These screws or bolts. I don't know, you guys comment down below if you call it bolts or screws. There's 10 millimeter right here. So, like on top of the top pad right here, there's all these bolts. Take it off, roll around right here, and also these little uh, push pins. Let's see now if that, that kind of moves it. Ah, oh, there we go. Much better. So now we can go into the, uh, taking off these bolts right here. All right, so go ahead and get that 10 millimeter. Take that off. Another one right here. Take that off. Another one right here. So right here. Take that off also. Oh. Oh. We'll figure that out later. But again, don't do what I just did. Don't drop that bolt, but there's a bolt right here. And let's see. Alright, so just go ahead and pull this back. Yeah. This one's frail, so it's gonna break right here. Go ahead and take off this bolt right here.
So most of the time, you guys, when you guys are changing out the fender, this thing's gonna break because it's so frail now. Get another one. Better off getting a new one. Now you can kind of pull the fender off, like that. All right guys, so that's how you take off a 2007 to 2013 Toyota Tundra driver's side fender. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side, but it should be the same thing. Uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel, turn on that push notification, and hit that like button. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll go ahead and answer those questions for you. Thank you.